Next, we'll crochet the legs using flesh-colored yarn with a 2.0 mm hook. Let's detail the method for each round. First, we start by working into a chain. Let me show you how to work into a chain. Hold the tail of the yarn, wrap the yarn around your pinky, then pass it over your index finger, and hold the tail between your middle finger and thumb. Place the crochet hook under the yarn and warp around. Hold the crossing point of the loop, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through. Adjusting the size of the loop, this completes our basic chain. Process to make 6 chain stitches. After completing the chain stitches, crochet 4 single crochet stitches, then crochet 3 single crochet stitches into 1 stitch, followed by 3 single crochet stitches, and 1 single crochet increase stitch, ending this round with a total of 12 stitches. Now, let's begin crocheting. Count 2 stitches back from the hook's current position, insert the hook from one side of the chain stitch, wrap the yarn over the hook and pull through. Then wrap the yarn over again and pull through, completing a single crochet. Continue by crocheting 3 single crochet stitches. Then make 3 single crochet stitches in the next stitch. Keep crocheting on this side, hiding the yarn inside as you work. 3 single crochet stitches. and one single crochet increase stitch. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And this completes our first round. Next, we'll crochet the second round. In this round, we alternate between single crochet stitches and single crochet increase stitches, ending up with a total of 18 stitches. Begin with a chain stitch. Then crochet one single crochet increase stitch. Three single crochet stitches. Three single crochet increase stitches. Three single crochet stitches.
and finish with two single crochet increase stitches. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And this completes our second round. Moving on to the third round, we crochet 18 single crochet stitches with no increases or decreases, maintaining the stitch count at 18. Begin with a chain stitch. Crochet one single crochet stitch. Then two single crochet stitches. And continue on your own to complete this round. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And this completes our third round. For the fourth round, we alternate between single crochet stitches and single crochet decrease stitches, reducing the total stitch count to 14. Begin with a chain stitch. Crochet 5 single crochet stitches. Then make 4 single crochet decrease stitches. Pay close attention to the method for crocheting the decrease. Let's take a detailed look. A complete stitch looks like a V. When making a decrease, we select the front loops of the V that are closest to us. Insert the hook into the front loop of the first stitch. Then immediately into the front loop of the second stitch. Now there are 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through the first 2 loops on the hook. leaving two loops on the hook. Yarn over again and pull through both loops on the hook. This completes the single crochet decrease. Show you some more. and finish with 5 single crochet stitches. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And this completes our fourth round. Finally, in the fifth round, we continue with single crochet stitches and single crochet decrease stitches, reducing the total stitch count to 12. Start with a chain stitch, crochet 5 single crochet stitches. Then make two single crochet decrease stitches.
and finish with 5 single crochet stitches. Remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch, and this completes our fifth round. Next, we'll crochet the sixth to eleventh rounds. In these rounds, we will crochet twelve single crochet stitches each, with no increases or decreases, maintaining a stitch count of twelve. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet one single crochet stitch. Then 2 single crochet stitches and continue on your own to complete these rounds. Remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch and this completes our 11th round. Moving on to the 12th round, we crochet 11 single crochet stitches and make one single crochet increase stitch, bringing the total to 13 stitches for this round. Begin with a chain stitch. Crochet one single crochet stitch. Then two single crochet stitches. And continue on your own. Add one single crochet increase stitch. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And this completes our twelfth round. For the 13th to 20th rounds, we will crochet 13 single crochet stitches each, with no increases or decreases, maintaining a stitch count of 13. Start with a chain stitch, crochet 1 single crochet stitch, then 2 single crochet stitches and continue on your own to complete these rounds. Remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch, and this completes our 20th round. After finishing the crochet, add fiber fill. You need to crochet two legs. Please complete the other one on your own. For one leg, leave a five inch tail and cut the yarn, for the other leg, do not cut the yarn as you will continue to crochet the body from this point. Add fiber fill.